With games like Stray, Cult of the Lamb, and Scorn popping off recently, and God of War Ragnarok and the Callisto Protocol dropping soon, I was starting to get jealous. Where's the love for unique, innovative, or just non-serious first-person shooters? I stumbled on the trailer for Phantom Fury recently and I couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew I'd seen its vibe somewhere before. If you're a 90s kid like me, then you know what I'm talking about. Phantom Fury is the sequel to Ion Fury, a 2019 cyberpunk FPS that slipped under my radar, and is being developed by the same studio responsible for 2020's Ghost Runner, Slipgate Ironworks. I completely blew off that title. I'm not a fan of first-person games that go heavy on melee combat, it doesn't work. But Phantom Fury isn't that. It's guns, explosions, and a lot of cool. The trailer has a sorta of shovelware, MS-DOS, but upscaled to zap into the current year, appeal. Then I saw who was publishing it and it all made sense. 3D Realms. I'll be honest, I completely forgot they existed. I thought they fell off the map like a lot of old school publishers. But I saw they'd hosted a Realms Deep 2022 event a couple of weeks ago and my 90s kid heart instantly rekindled. You can see exactly where Phantom Fury draws inspiration from. The gameplay, level and sound design, and voice acting all ooze Duke Nukem, Kingpin Life of Crime, Shogo Mobile Armor Division, and other iconic 90s, early 2000s first-person shooters. Did you guys ever play Shogo? I was watching a video of some guy playing last month and he refused to switch to vehicle mode during the mech combat in the city levels. He just went around shooting the same gun for 5 minutes. I wanted to punch my screen. What's the point if you're not gonna live the fantasy of transforming on the fly? Anyways. I'm really digging the 32 or 64-bit textures, Half-Life-esque but animated like something out of Time Splitters. You can see the visual upgrade from Ion Fury. They went from the flat lighting and 2D sprites of the early 90s to the dynamic lights and shadows and 3D models of the early 2000s. And just like the old school, new-ish school graphics, the gameplay falls in line with its style but with some upgrades thrown in to meet modern expectations. There's an electric shield, tactical slide, and some promised helicopter flights. Hopefully, Slipgate Ironworks also modernizes the product offering by including a multiplayer mode at some point. This is not a dig, but what they've shown off so far as a single-player experience doesn't scream, time, money, and labor budget, blowout. They could easily implement a multiplayer experience, especially with the backing of 3D Realms. And it's not like games of its narrow scope and gameplay style haven't had competitive online play before. The best part of the trailer came at the end when Blade, the hero of one of the coolest 90s-era games, Sin, made his cameo. Sin had a good multiplayer mode back in the day, think along the lines of Half-Life Deathmatch. Just good old fragging fun. Nothing fancy. We're getting some Sin-inspired single-player content, they might as well throw in simple TDM and DM modes to complete the nostalgia bait. Do me these two solids before you go, like and subscribe if you haven't already, then go and watch the Realms Deep 2022 event. 3D Realms is here to revive a certain style of shooter that the gaming industry is sorely lacking and with them, the future of FPSs is looking bright. So what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to this new title? Or do you want super realistic, military combat sim number 85? Keep fragging and as always, stay cool, gentlemen. <laughs>